Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be building off the previous Interactive Brokers video I did, which I called Machine Learning Trading Bot for Interactive Brokers in Python. Um, this one is going to be more general and more organized and more systematic. So um, we can then create many such algorithms with this framework um, and it'll be easy to use. I did put the code, at least the code I sh shared in the video on GitHub. Um, but um, there are some things um, I called um, from other libraries and I, that's left to you guys to implement as exercise. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe. It really helps YouTube uh, algorithm, I guess, because it does forget about you sometimes. So let's get started. So um, first things first, I, I want to remind you guys what we did in the last video a little bit. So what happened in the last video is we basically um, wanted to make a decision every time a five second real time bar arrives. So a five second real time bar arrives and then you can update either dollar bars, volume bars, time bars, or whatever type of bars you want to use. Um, then you extract features, you make some prediction, and then you take an action. And previously our action was if the probability was above 51%, like the buy probability, then we set the um, bracket order with take profit as the upper barrier in the triple barrier method and stop loss as the lower barrier. That was just like an example of some on bar algorithm. So once you get a new bar, um, you do these steps um, and then you take an action. So in particular, we organize one part of the code, which I called on bar algorithm. And these on bar algorithms are going to be these abstract methods. And I think I wrote it here. See these abstract methods that have, um, where did I put it? Um, okay. They have something called a get action. So that's when you get your, um, like data, basically your data features with data, data and your probability, meaning your prediction, and then you make some sort of action. So in the previous video, the action was uh, defined in the subclass where we implemented this class. Uh, we called it simple ML buy sell algo. Remember the get action was if the price is not above, is below the max price willing to pay, and we have no active orders, and the probability is above the threshold for buying, then we had a limit price, a take profit, and stop loss price. We placed a bracket order. Okay, so in the last video, we showed you basically how to um, uh, subclass this on bar algorithm um, and in particular implement the get action function. In this video, I want to organize the other parts of the video because soon we're going to have many other on bar algorithms. Like, let's say I have this like uh, um, weird algorithm where I roll call options uh, with on bars, or I even showed you guys. Um, rolling a covered call. I have weird, uh, all these algorithms that, that have the same on bar thing, we want to run each of them together. Um, we still want to do these first three steps, uh, the, uh, get the bars that are higher, lower granularity, then um, the five second bars, some aggregates, extract features, make the prediction, and then um, run each of our on bar algorithms. So that's what we want to do in big picture. Uh, so in this video, we want to just organize some of the steps we did in the previous video um, so we can uh, apply this in general. So in particular, we're going to implement two classes. One, I'm going to call underlying bar data. So if you remember in the last video, we had two types of data and maybe I have the, um, this is the GitHub code. So I had a real time bars. So I had real time bars. These are five second data and I had historical data. So what happens was I combined historical data from let's say 30 days worth of data and then five second bars. So then I have enough data where um, uh, when I aggregate, let's say my aggregations are like, let's say five minute aggregations or whatever, I can uh, then have enough bars um, where I can compute like um, features like let's say RSI uh, 10,000. I would need 10,000 bars for example. So that's why you need some historical data. So you have enough data to compute those historical features. So what happens is you compute, you get the historical data and the real time bars. And then every time you get a five second bars, you update the um, data frame. You basically insert the five second bars to the historical data. Um, and then there is a pr uh, other process and that sort of thing. So that's kind of disorganized. 
So in this video, I just want to kind of organize that by creating this like underlying bar data method, which will combine those two parts. And then um, I also mentioned it a bit in the previous video. I want this on bar controller, which will be the class where you basically will run the steps one, two, three, and then there's going to be some sort of dictionary with all the algorithms you, you want to run, and it runs each algorithm one at a time. And the algorithms, of course, are implementations of on bar algorithm. So um, also there's going to be like a start and stop algo because it just makes it a little bit cleaner. Remember previously the um, start and stop, what we did was we started and stopped by doing update event dot clear and plus equals on update event but we're gonna instead um, call it start algo and stop algo which eventually if we want to switch to something like alpaca or something like that uh, we can kind of have a close uh, looking framework to each other anyways okay so um, and I realize this video is boring because uh, this is just setting up stuff for the next video which should be much more interesting okay so um, Let's get started and I'm not going to implement the code now. I'm going to show you what I wrote. So for example, the underlying bar data, like I said, it had to combine two things, it had to combine the historical bars and the real time bars. So I have two parts. So first part, by the way, is you have, these are based on like the underlying uh, symbol. So you have a symbol in the constructor and IB is like your class of uh, um, IB. IB is like the IB in sync uh, class thing. Um, and then what you do is you uh, you get your stock uh, contract, you qualify the contract, you get the real-time bars, exactly the same as the previous video, and then you get historical bars, and this can have arguments, but I'm, I'm ignoring that for now. Uh, so you have your historical bars here, and then, uh, so this class, all it has is the historical DF, the real-time bars DF, that's it, it just houses these things. Nothing more, nothing less. I use the underscore convention. Uh, people usually use that so that other classes won't call th these uh, methods. But um, anyways, all this is is just housing what we had in the previous video with real-time bars, historical DF, and the stock object itself. The underlying, I should say. So if we would run this, um, might not run because I don't have this defined. So uh, here I'm just ignoring warnings. Here I'm connecting to IB and sync. And then I'm running, I did 11 periods, so it might take a little bit of time. So let me explain things while it runs. Okay, so now the second thing I wanted to talk about is this bar algorithms controller. So um, the bar algorithms controller is basically gonna be something that the most important thing it has is it has the stop algo, which will stop the algo. It's just basically like in the previous video where you have update event on the real time bar dot clear. But that's the beauty of this. Once you have this class, you don't have to worry about the little details here. But like it like in the previous video, this clears the on the the update when you get a new five second bar. And then to start the algorithm, you call the stop. So you just like cleared it and then you attach the callback and the callback. What the callback here is going to do is it's basically going to go step by step like in the previous video, it's going to basically update the bars. So like if we're using dollar bars or um, five uh, or uh, minute bars or whatever bars we use. Uh, so previously I had this like bar utils uh, function I didn't give you access to, where it has like an update bars thing. So all you have to know is, uh, I'm just gonna try to keep it abstract. You have update bars thing, you update bars to get like your dollar bars or your bigger sized bars. You extract features, you have extract features class and you guys can implement this part yourself. And then you use your algorithm to get the probability for your prediction. For me, it's just getting from my mysterious on bar utils function, uh, fitted ML model dot predict proba. So it's some cap boost model and I predict the probability on DF features. So I get a probability here. And then what I'm gonna do, so now um, every time I get a new five second bar, I um, I extract the bigger size bars, extract features, get a probability, um, print out that probability, and then this is the key thing. I'm going to go, I'm gonna have this algos dick thing, um, and I'm gonna go through each item in the algos dict, which will have the name of the algorithm and the algo itself, and the algo is going to be um, a subclass, uh, something that implements the, um, uh, on bar algorithm class. 
So basically, um, the yeah, so you go th um, through the algo's dict, and then you call it get action. So you run, let's say you have 15 algorithms, you do algo data get action. There's 15 of these calls, right? In the last video, we just did one of these calls, but there's 15. So that's the on bar updates thing, okay? So like in the previous video, we have to implement the get action for whatever on bar algorithm we do. Um, but this framework will handle if you have many on bar algorithms, you just, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have this set algos dict thing, which you're gonna give it algos dict, and I should give it a, um, I should use typing, I guess. I should do dict, um, I should give it typing. Uh, I'm not gonna do it now because it's Jupyter, but um, it's basically gonna be, be a dictionary with a string, which is the name of the algorithm, and um, the, the value is going to be um, something that extends this on bar algorithm class. So you have all these algorithms and you, you, you put them here in the set algos dict, and then you're all set pretty much. And let me show you how easy this framework makes it look. So first of all, previously, remember we got the bar data thing. And the bar data, like I said, just housed the real time data and the um, historical bars. By the way, I think this makes no sense because uh, it's hard to explain, but it'll make the future uh, videos easier. Please let me know in the comments if anything doesn't make sense, and I'll try to uh, explain those things away a bit. Um, and i also put this on GitHub. Um, okay, so I just need two more periods and I'll be done. Okay. So uh, while I have one more running, let's just say it one more time. The algorithms controller, all it does is controls the algorithms. Uh, it, it like basically runs your list of on bar algorithms one at a time. So basically you have a new five second bar, you update bars to get bigger granularity bars like dollar bars or whatever. You extract features, let's say technical analysis features. You run your ML model to get a probability. And then once you have the probability, you go through each algorithm and you run its get action. And then it also has like these easy, nice uh, wrappers like uh, stop algo will stop the uh, on bar update and start algo will attach the callback. So basically it'll start the algorithm. So those are very useful. And look, the bar data here, the, the underlying bar data, if I do um, length of, uh, you shouldn't do this calling something with an underscore, but just to show you that like the real time bars are still updating. So you have 61 now, it was just 60. So now you have this thing. And now let me show you um, how we can do it with last things video. So I'm just copying and pasting uh, from last video. Remember we had this simple pull ML uh, buy sell algo and um, where we implemented the on bar algo thing. And uh, it implemented this uh, abstract class, this on bar algo. And um, I'm just copy and pasting as is, we get this and we're good. So now how are we gonna use um, um, basically how to use um, on a bar algo controller, whatever I called it. So we define a dictionary um, of um, these on bar algorithms. So in our case, we're only gonna have one, which is gonna be the simple ML algo. So like before, we, we define simple ML algo equals simple ML by cell algo. Um, it, it gets IB in the constructor. And then it has a set contract. The contract is um, the underlying stock, which is bar data dot stock. It ends up being that. And now we, we, we get a uh, bar algorithm controller. Uh, the algos dict, we just give it a name for each one of the um, algorithms you wanna run. And then you set algos dict and now it's running. It should run once you press start algo. And then um, let's see how it looks like. As you see, it's predicting the prediction. I printed out a little things. I said running this algo, but it could run more algos. I guess I predicted, I, I, I printed here for no reason. Let's see if I have open orders. Orders. No, I guess I don't have open orders. But anyways, uh, the point is, is it does actually work. Um, I printed here because for some reason it didn't make a trade, so I wanted to make sure it's gonna make a trade. Um, uh, I might have I might have introduced a, a new bug with uh, with this thing, but anyways, the the, the idea is eventually you're gonna have a trade. Um, uh, maybe I, I did, I think I know the problem. I did um, active trade is false here. Um, 
and I probably uh, changed it somewhere. Um, uh, if not active tray, I don't know what I did, but anyways, this should work. Um, and I'll double check that it doesn't work, uh, that it works. But the point of this video is just to show you kind of like an organization if you want to run many algorithms. Cause now next time when we're going to talk about like my weird free call rolling strategy, um, which is like a super weird, um, poor man's covered call type thing. Um, we have like a basis to run it, but this should have made an order by now. I don't know why it didn't. Uh, maybe it did, but oh, uh, might have done an order, but I didn't see it. If it did some fills previously when I tested it, um, but I'll check that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you guys so much.